Can you guess what this is? Stay tuned to find out. It's jaw time with Mr. Mayberry. Time to draw. It's New Year's week. Happy New Year and welcome to Draw Time with Mr. Mayberry. It's New Year's week on Draw Time, so we're drawing things that have to do with New Year's. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a clock. So let's get started. It's time to draw. Today I'm going to show you how to draw a clock. And more specifically, I'm going to show you how to draw a mantel clock. A uh, mantel clock is one that would sit above a fireplace on the shelf above a fireplace. And I have my paper turned horizontal and I'm just using a regular pencil to draw. Um, I'm going to start with a circle. Um, I found this is a little over two inches. It's a lid of a container and I'm going to use that to draw the center part of the clock. And it's okay when, you, when you're doing shapes like circle to start with a pattern. It, circles can be harder to draw freehand and you're welcome to do this one freehand if you like but I just wanted to let you know it's okay to start with using a, a pattern to trace for your circle. All right, so here's the central part of the clock, and we'll go back in and put details here in a little bit. But I want to draw the outside edge of the clock next. And this one, I'm going to start up above and make a curve that goes the same direction as this circle. But then you get a little bit more than halfway down, and it's going to curve, well, about halfway down maybe. It'll curve out like this. And we're going to do the same kind of thing going the other direction. Let me kind of finish this edge off though. And then I'm going to put a straight line right here that will go down below the bottom of the circle. So a vertical line there. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just going the other direction. So I go over here around the edge and I slant out and curve out here. And then I'm going to put a vertical line on the end right here. Okay, and we want these to be about the same distance out. I'm going to use my pencil here as a measuring tool. That's pretty close. All right, and then we'll draw a straight line across the bottom. This is a little bit longer span. I'm going to go ahead and use a ruler for this line. If you want to freehand this part, that's what you're welcome to do that as well. And I'm just going to connect these two sides. Now this side it looks like it's a little bit taller, so I want to make some adjustment here. I'm going to actually want them both to be about the same height on the end. So I'm going to go ahead and change the shape here so that they match, or they're pretty close at least. Okay, so this is the basic shape for the clock. At the bottom it's going to have some feet. I'm going to draw a line that slants out a little bit here and one that slants out a little here and then just a line that goes over oh about about that far and the same on this side about the same size it goes in from the other direction now you can look at pictures I looked at some pictures of mantel clocks and kinda of got an idea of how I wanted to draw this before I started today. If that's a, if you can look through pictures of clocks or if you have clocks in your home that you could study and you might come up with your own version or you could try to draw one that you see in front of you. Okay, then there's some um, an area that's decorative here. I'm not going to get real complicated with I'm going to keep it simple but there's a a carved out place here curves around this direction and then I'm going to keep about the same width all the way around here so it curves follows this curve here and then right here it's going to go straight over it's going to go horizontally straight across something like that and we'll do the same thing over here make this curve that follows the circle and then this one follows the outside edge and then there's a line that goes straight across here 
Uh, you could use a ruler for this part too. This is a little bit shorter, so I'm not going to use a straight edge. I'm just going to freehand this part. Now I could get really, like I said, decorative inside of here if I wanted to put some swirls and things or a design of some sort. I'm just going to leave this open for now. You could also uh, do different color inside of that than what you have on the outside if you're coloring this in. And then let's work with the face of the clock. Uh, first I want to put another rim around the edge. Now if I had a, a circle that was just slightly bigger I could trace it as well but this one this time I'm just going to freehand a circle since I don't have one that's just slightly bigger I'm gonna go ahead and freehand this one and just try to make a line that is the same distance away from the inside circle all the way around and this would be like a metal piece and maybe it has hinges where it could open up and you could change the face of the clock to uh, set the clock a lot of the mantle clocks will have a covering, like a glass covering like this with hinges and a latch that you can open it up and set your clock. And then also if it's a one that winds up, it'd have a place to wind your clock as well. Okay, now I want to go ahead and draw the face of the clock. I'm going to draw a circle in the center. Kind of estimate where center is. And I'm going to go ahead and draw a few numbers. Now you could draw numbers all the way around. I'm just going to draw at the the top, bottom, and left and right. So I'm going to do four numbers. And the way you draw these, you can get real fancy. That's up to you. I'm going to, again, keep it simple, but do a decorative simple. So there's a 12. Here's a 3. Put a 9 on this side, and then a 6 at the bottom. So that's all I'm going to have as far as numbers on, on the face of this clock. You could put them all the way around if you'd like, that's up to you. And I'm going to have this clock like it's almost midnight. I'm going to start with the short hand there on the hour of 12, and then I'm going to make the minute hand go out here to the side. Now at the end of them I'm going to put curves on each side like an arrow. Okay and then I want to make the hand at the, at the base of it, it's going to come out a little wider and then it's going to get skinny as it goes towards the top. So it just looks a little fancier that way. So this starts at the top, it curves out at the bottom, and then you curve out the other side like that. Okay, so it's getting close to midnight on this clock. Now, to make this, you could draw the clock like this on just a, a straight forward view of the mantle and the mantle clock. Um, the edge of the mantle might go right here along the bottom of these feet. But I'm going to try to make this look 3D. So I'm going to draw it so that you see part of the side as well. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to start over here at the bottom and make a line. I'm going to start with this, the bottom edge of the clock. Make a line that slants up from the bottom right to the top left. And then I'm going to draw several lines that are parallel with this, going up the side of the clock. I think I'll come down here and do the foot down below next, actually. And it's parallel. This line is parallel to that one. And then the edge, the outside edge, is going to just slant out a little bit like that. Okay, and then I'm going to draw another line here that's parallel. And it's going to, I want it to be directly above here. If it's a little off, that's okay. The vertical line, I'll, after I draw it, then I'll erase whatever's left there. I'm going to come up here at the top, and again, I'm going. All these lines are going the same direction. I'm going to do the same thing from the top edge of this clock. A line that slants up that same direction, and then I want one back here on this from this corner, slanting back. 
and then one underneath here that will actually run into the bottom edge of the clock that you won't see the rest of it. But they're all, all those lines are going the same direction. Okay, let's start up here, and I'm going to figure out how wide I want this clock to be, and you don't have to have it super wide, or you can have it wider. Um, I've already kind of determined that here, but I can change that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to make this the same width as what I have down here. And I'm going to start up here with a curve, and it's going to follow this same curve that I have here. So it goes up a little, down, and then back out. So I'm going to curve right here, go down, and then back out like this. And I try to get that line to match this inside one here. The top I've got to make it curve just a little bit more like that. Okay. So now you can see this taking shape as being three-dimensional, like it's going back into space. Then I'm going to make a vertical line that matches this one. It's, you know, they're both going the same direction. They're parallel. Okay, there's that edge. And then this one, we're just going to, it's going to kind of slant back just a little bit. You won't see much of this, the end of this line over here, this part right here. Okay, now I want to make this look like it's actually sitting on the mantle. So in order to do that in the 3D version here, I'm going to go up above the center of the clock. So up in here, try to draw a line that's parallel with the bottom edge of the clock with the bottom edge of the paper. And this is going behind the clock. So I start on the side. When I get to the clock, I stop. I start on the other side of the clock and continue across. Just like that. And then I want to draw, I'll draw one line down here below and try to keep it parallel too. So, so now this is sitting on a shelf, on a mantle. And that's that's a pretty wide mantle. I could make it a little lower than that. Let's see what it looks like if I go down here. I drew that back one pretty dark. It might be a little harder to erase. It would be good to start off drawing these light in case you do change your mind. Yeah, that one. I think I like that one better. So I'll go ahead and erase this other line. To be careful when you erase so you don't tear your paper. Do a lot of hard work and then you can ruin it in an instant if you're not careful. So you be careful as you're erasing. This is our drawing for today, a mantle clock. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for taking time to draw with me. I hope you'll come back again. And remember, if you want to be a good artist, do a little drawing every day. Burr. Well, if you're wondering what this is, it's a close-up picture of a pocket watch. Well, thank you for watching to the end, and I'll see you next time.